สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. I am making beef stew today because it's fall and it's cold and we all need comfort food during times such as this. So I am making a Thai-style beef stew or what we call เนื้อตุ๋นเนื้อ means beef and ตุ๋น means to stew. But unlike Western-style beef stew, it doesn't come in a rich, thick sauce. It's actually Beef that's stewed in a broth infused with a ton of spices—it's so good, and you can actually pour it over noodles and turn it into a noodle soup. Ah, oh, so good! Let's get started. Let's talk cut of beef. I am using my all-time favorite cut of beef for beef stew, and that is the Super Digital Flexor Muscle, which I know has an incredibly impressive name. At the store, it was labeled Digital Muscle, but basically. It's the part of the hind leg, sort of like here. Um, and what's great about it is, I'm going to show you. It is full of connective tissue. And see all this marbling of all this connective tissue. That is going to dissolve and become sort of silky smooth, and making the stew uh, just basically melt in your mouth. For this one, I'm going to go about an inch thick because they will shrink quite a bit. You can also do beef shank. The whole shank, like the also buko cut. If you can't find this, you can also just use stew beef, which is usually the chuck or the round. But I, if you can, this makes a big difference. So I'm gonna first sear the beef, and this step is actually not very Thai. I'm borrowing it from Western style technique. In Thailand, we just throw everything in the pot. But I think the searing develops some color on the beef, and it actually helps boost the flavor. So I'm just salting it a little bit. On both sides, I've got a pot here, which is the pot I'm going to use for the stew. So a little bit of oil in here. Wait for it to get quite hot because you want a good sear, a good browning. Don't crowd the pan. If you crowd the pan, you trap steam and you won't get that nice browning. So you're gonna have to do this in batches, okay? And once you've placed the beef down, don't move it. Give it a good one minute, maybe 45 seconds. For it to develop a chance to sear, if you toss it and stir it and mess with it, it won't have a long enough contact time to develop browning. So don't touch it for a while. All right, so all my beef is seared. Now with the pot, you don't have to wash and start clean. If you've burnt it though, and you've got burnt bits stuck to the pot, that's when you want to scrub it off. Mine had a little burnt bits on it, so I scrubbed that off. In fact. If you have just lightly browned bits, just pour off the excess oil and leave all that stuff in there. That's all flavor that you want dissolved back into the soup. And then all this juice, just pour it in. That's just extra, extra flavor. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my liquid, and I've basically got some plain beef stock here. And by plain beef stock, I mean I took some beef bones. <laughs> And I simmered it in water for three hours. No aromatics, no nothing, because all the aromatics are going to go in right now with the stew. You can also use store-bought beef stock, although make sure it's unsalted, because we're gonna we want to maximize the flavor of this with all the seasoning that we're gonna add, and not with pre-salted beef stock, right? So I recommend highly. Making your own beef stock for this one. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna add some seasoning to this so that the beef could simmer and absorb all the flavor. So I've got some soy sauce, and I'm using Thai mushroom soy sauce, but you can use regular soy sauce if you want. Some golden mountain sauce, which is a different kind of soy sauce, a little richer, different flavor. Oyster sauce, rich thickness with a little sweetness. Black soy sauce. Has a deep flavor of molasses, but it'll make the broth a nice dark color. To cut all that salt we just added, I'm gonna do some sugar. But I'm adding dark brown sugar today because I like that rich flavor that it has. Now I'm gonna let this come to a simmer, and while that's going, let's put together the spice bag. Now this is gonna be the star of the dish. This is where all the flavor and the aroma is gonna come from. So I'm gonna put all my spices in this bag here, which I got at the Chinese grocery store, and I think it was called soup bag or something like that. But basically, if I put all the spices in here, when it's done, I can just take the whole thing out. I don't have to fish them out. You can do the same thing. Just tie all the bags, tie all the spices in a cheesecloth or something like that. Got my coriander seeds, some cinnamon. Star anise. Too much star anise is really unpleasant, so just do maximum of two pieces. Couple of bay leaves. A mixture of 
black and white pepper which I've cracked. The next two are optional. Goji berries. Now you may have heard of goji berries as being this super food. Not a whole lot in terms of flavor. In Chinese cuisine, they use it into, to infuse into soups and stew because of its health benefits. Again, another optional one is Sichuan peppercorns. I mean, that's way too big for the amount that I have in here, but that's okay. So the beef has, has simmered for just not too long, but already there's foam coming up. So I'm just, before I add in my spice bag, I'm just gonna use this incredibly useful tool, this fine mesh skimmer here to remove all this foam. Okay, so in goes my shiitake mushrooms and dry shiitake mushrooms mm, have this great flavor that adds a lot of umami to the broth. In goes the onions. Hopefully it's not gonna splash on me, so I have to go in gently. Ah, like that. Garlic. And then the spice bag. I'm just gonna sort of let it hang out in here. Oh, I knew that bag looked a little empty. There are two more things going into that bag. I've got galangal and ginger and i these are frozen so that's why i kept it in the freezer because if frozen galangal and ginger sits out at room temperature they sort of turn mushy and the ginger gives it a little sort of spiciness and the galangal gives that cool pine foresty aroma it's nice yin and yang flavor to go in here so many things <laughs> okay and i'm gonna close the lid and this little thing here, I'm gonna tie it to the pot handle so that it doesn't hang over the side and then catch fire and then it's all bad news from there. So I'm gonna let this simmer for three hours until the beef is super tender and melt in your mouth. I'll see you then. So it's been three hours, the beef is fork tender. I love it, I love stews. It's like put it on, let it go, and you come back and it's delicious. So I'm gonna remove the spice bag there and then this the way we eat it in thailand is with some jasmine rice or you can pour this over some rice noodles if you want so i'm just going to so you can, if you can see the beef has shrunken quite a bit so that's why you want to make sure you cut the beef quite thick because they do shrink all right i'm going to pour this over rice so and the onion is dissolved the garlic is dissolved it's now mmm Add a little freshness with some green onions and cilantro. Mm. And you don't have to do this, but I like to put a little bit of chili vinegar. So this is just spur chilies or any kind of chilies really, pickled in vinegar for at least 20 minutes. And the acidity contrasts sort of the salty sweetness quite well. My mom loves to put a lot of this stuff, but I just like a little sprinkle. Ooh, the smell of the spices. Mm. Wow. You almost don't have to chew it, it's so tender. Such a great cut for beef stew. And a little salty, a little sweet. Everything just works so well. And I really prefer this to the rich, saucy stew because even though it's rich and comforting, it doesn't feel heavy. It feels like you can really eat a lot of this, which might be a little dangerous, but perfect dish for the fall, this coming winter. So I hope you give this a try. It's so easy. If you've got a slow cooker, this is perfect for it. And the recipe, as always, is on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and I will include some of them in my newsletter. If you haven't subscribed to my show, please do, and I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. Super digital flexor muscle. Super, or is it super digital flexor? Or is it super flexor digital muscle? Super flexor digital muscle, okay. Super digital flexor. <laughs>